Diabetes Research Foundation Walk to Cure Diabetes has raised over $200,000 and Team Caleb raised over $1,200 with the support and donation of the nation. We can all help to find the cure for juvenile diabetes. This is Angelique reporting in Greensboro. Hey, this is Mark at the Miracle League in High Point. Come see what it's all about. is a league that I feel that we feel some it's a place where we can feel normal as a special needs child and I feel like that this is something awesome that we can provide to the community and show other people that you know there is something out there for these special types of children. Advertised to us through his school which is um, Trinity Elementary School and we were so fond of having to go ahead and do that because I think that was something that he would enjoy. It's uh, a couple times every year. We've gone about it for three or four years. It's our pleasure to come out here and have fun with the kids. It's always a blast, and we'll always be back when the price is ass. So, oh, it's it's awesome to come out here. Um, we get we all just have a great time hanging out with the kids. Um, there's nothing. There's no negatives about it. It's awesome hanging out with everybody, especially Nick. And uh, you know, it's always a great time. Get hit the ball. Run really fast. Run really fast and run with the base. Here we go. I enjoy helping kids with special needs and this is just a great experience. Mm, running. Good job, Evan. Home run. Uh, to me, it hit home because my little brother, he has cerebral palsy. So I felt like I should be able to give back to other kids and other families and just give my time. <laughs> Um, pretty much being out here with the kids and with Marissa, who's my yeah. biggest influence, and just I am. them having a great time and just having fun with it. So, so um, that's pretty much the biggest thing that I like about it. And then you know, people take the time to do these things for the kids. I like to run. I like to hit the ball and run fast because it's my passion. Um, I love working okay. in the field that I work in. And I mean, anybody, everybody deserves a chance. So everybody to me, is, I feel like are equal. And I'm very committed to what I do. And I mean, with Marissa, I just feel like I help her and her, her parents out, her family. And this is just, I, I believe this was my calling. If you would like to volunteer or play ball with Miracle League, go to hpmiracleleague.org. This is Mark reporting in High Point. Hey, this is DJ. DTCC had a festival for the March of Dimes. Come on, let's see what it's all about. The bigger part is to help the community, but it's really important for our students to build community within their community. So by participating today in the activities, they get to have fun, they get to donate to the cause, and they get to create a bond amongst themselves to really have a great time here on campus. We do, and we also get a chance for our faculty and our staff to come together with our students and 
to hopefully build some friendships and um, also meet some of our students that they may not have met before. <laughs> Everything that they take, rather it's pennies, quarters, dimes, dollars, they're taking donations to raise money for this. They do something every year. And this is the first year that you actually did the Fall Festival and included us. And everything that you see, you can donate if you want to, and all the money goes to the dimes. It helps out with our service learning. And it's a great opportunity to just help out in our community. I think it's a good experience, a humbling experience to kind of just like volunteer and help out just because you don't get anything in return, but it's just good, good experience and to be with everybody, it's, it's nice. They don't like me! March of Dimes exists to educate people about premature birth and trying to stop that, really trying to get people health care prior to their baby being born. GTCC held festivals on all three campuses to raise money and let people know about the March of Dimes walk October 26. This is DJ reporting in High Point. That's a good one here. And oh yeah, Miss Cook, I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> Hi, my name is Olivia. Let's take a look at the Pink Out Prom annual breast cancer fundraiser. a breast cancer awareness support event since our first time. We thought it would be a good way to like start going to events in Greensboro. We both just moved here. So. Uh, we're really impressed so far. So Yeah, we, we had fun dressing up. We're excited to see, you know, what everyone else is wearing and like all the different 80s costumes. I asked my mom for advice on like what I should wear and so yeah, it, it should be fun. Um, I think it's good to just raise awareness among like all age groups. Like the next generation needs to continue the trend of um, you know doing fundraisers and supporting like good causes. So I guess that's why it's that that's important. I just think that it's important for younger audiences to get more involved in like newsworthy topics like breast cancer because they may know someone in the near future who's affected by it or they themselves. So I think that it's like not just limited to breast cancer, just to like be in touch with what's going on in your world because, you know, you might be the next to change the world or something. So. The Pink Out Retro Prom is not an organization. We're the News and Record, and the News and Record decided to support breast cancer fundraising. And so the Pink Out Retro Prom is an outgrowth of that. And it supports a light foundation, which is a local breast cancer foundation. And their resources and the money they raise support women who have been diagnosed with breast cancer right here in Greensboro. We make it really affordable. It's just $13 a ticket. Well, I had cancer the first time back in 2006, and I was re-diagnosed again in 2012. So I'm a seven in one, as I tell people. Um, my mother was actually a breast cancer survivor, and she's been a survivor for 12 years, but the type of cancer I had was actually different than what she had. I was actually here last year, but I'm having a lot more fun this year. Last year, I had actually just come from having chemo that day, so. It wasn't as enjoyable as it is so far this year. Well, I think it, it brings a community together and shows actual survivors that um, there are people out there who care and that are supporting the cause. Yeah, I think it gives them the opportunity to see that it, it, there's a lot more going on in life than they really realize and it gives them an opportunity to also let people know that they actually care too and it'll give them ideas for the future of what things might need to be changed or what they need to get involved in. This is the fourth year of the Pink Out Prom Breast Cancer Fundraiser. If you thought it looked like fun, you can mark your calendar for next September. This is Olivia reporting from Greensboro. Hey guys, it's Wyatt from MCHP. We're here at Oak Hill Elementary School for a service learning project. Let's see what they're doing. One, two, three. Falling water, hydro power, hydro power. Fish, 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 fish. Fish, fish. 
Um, I don't know. I just I always love volunteering and helping out kids and helping out wherever I can. So it's just something I've always loved doing. So why not? <laughs> Because I like helping, I like I like helping kids, and it feels good to do good things, you know, and then make somebody's day. Um, we do a lot of energy-wise stuff. We play games. We teach them songs so they can remember it, and we review and stuff like that. Teaching the kids um, different things about energy-wise and how they can save and stuff. Like that. And we're supposed to be right here. What's this? Hmm? Huh? What's this? Uh, a collar. Uh, I think I need help. kids need help with this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm glad to help. Uh, I'm, I like taking leadership roles in a lot of stuff I do anyway, so. You know, volunteering is something I, mean, I like yellow, doing a lot. Yellow, yellow. Um, they have a lot of energy, uh, so that's cool. I remember when I used to have this much energy and when I was a kid, so it's pretty easy for me to relate to them and you know work with them and stuff. <laughs> this takes a lot of patience. I think our students are really invested in giving back to the elementary students. They enjoy working with the younger kids. So the sun gives energy to the plants. And they see how a little bit of time in somebody's life can really make a difference because they're starting to build those relationships with these younger students and see how excited they get, the high fives and the hugs, and how they're depending on them to come back. What's the sun doing? Getting the free energy. What's it called? And they're also having ownership of the material with the energy curriculum because to teach it to the younger students, they're having to really understand it and make sure they can explain it in a simple enough manner. So um, both of those are the things I'm looking for them to get out of it. We get to play the four, four corners. Our students were very excited to teach younger students. This is Wyatt Bixby from Ogilva Elementary School. Thanks. Hey, this is Kat, and this is our senior social for United Way. We did the Try to Help project, and basically they are helping people in like our area. And what we've been doing is partnering with United Way to raise money and awareness for several programs that United Way sponsors. Environment, people are experiencing these problems. How do you think the social will help or impact the cause? Like we really hope that our students will have not only raised money to help and donations to help these causes, but also raised awareness of what it is that they do and how they impact our community in positive ways. What kind of programs are they? Definitely there are a wide variety of them. There are Open Door Ministries, Triad Health Project, Big Brothers Big Sisters, Salvation Army, Domestic Violence Shelters. Our duties is pretty much to leave our legacy to the up and coming seniors. You know, we want to set a positive example for them, so therefore, by doing this, I think they will take interest into this and then know what to do with their seniors. Oh, I didn't know DJs got skills. Anyone who needs help or anything, you want to be there with them. And, you know, say that, yes, I understand, I will help them in any kind of way. Well, we think it's about the Salvation Army. Nice pass, nice pass. Because. Everyone can relate to these things, such as toothbrushes, canned food, anything. So that's what we wanted to connect with them, so we can also give back for those who are in need as well. Next up at MCHP is the Junior Service Learning Social. All four grade levels try to top one another. This is Kat reporting at High Point. Good job, Kat. What up, what up? It's your boy Q. I'm here at my home school, Southern Guilford, where I used to go to. You know what? The band is a big part of Southern Guilford and Friday Night Football. Check like out my little brother. Today, 
maybe it's a little hard because you have to push off a nose very fast. Lots of practice, hard work, and a lot of timing. You get very nervous at first, but then you get used to it. I can't explain it. Like once you get out there and you hear like the crowd and stuff and you just get all excited and you like, oh my God, I got to do good because they're watching me. But once like I hear them and stuff, I don't think about it. Number 20. Number three is brought down to the play by number 35. Yeah, you got to have confidence because, and like if you mess up, don't show that you mess up. Like just, just keep, keep going. going. Keep going. <laughs> and like know where to pick up in your routine. When you really get into it, when you when you start the dancing, it's just like, wow, okay, I got this. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. The confidence level is up. It's just yeah. amazing. And there you have it. Southern's dancers, football team, and the band put on an amazing show for the fans. Southern Kiffle High beat Smith 21-7 for the second win of the season. This is Q reporting from Southern Kiffle High School. Hey, this is Jackson. I was doing my sloth thing and somehow wound up at Ragsdale High School soccer game and I found out that my best friend's actually captain of the soccer team. I have no clue why you play a sport where you can't use your hands because I don't understand that. And I don't know why they call this football because it ain't nothing like American football, but hey, let's see what we can get into here. So Tanner, are you captain of the soccer team at Ragsdale? Yeah. Uh, do you think you're better than everyone on your team? Uh, it, there's no one player that's better than anybody else. It really takes a group effort to put put together wins. Have y'all had some wins this year? Yeah, we've actually we've actually done pretty good this year for what we're working with. Do y'all think y'all are gonna go far? I like to hope so, but any team can beat any given team at any day. Do you think your team is better than the team you're about to play? It'll be a good game, but I think we'll come out on top. All right, guys, let's get on a good track. Let's go, guys. Let's get in here. Let's go. All right, Rags on three, gentlemen. Ready? One, two, three. Rags right, yeah. Let's do it, gentlemen. Play the thing, play the thing, play the thing. Uh, one to ten, how hard do you think soccer would be for a smoker? Like me. Um, it'd, be, it'd be pretty challenging. It'd be pretty challenging. Really? Um, it's a lot of running. Do you think your sport's harder than American football? Some aspects of it, not not all of it. Uh, there's a lot of specialty things in football and a lot of specialty things in soccer. So yeah, it it really just depends on what you want to play. a lot better at soccer than I am at many other things. Just, just the, I have like a passion for it, and I just don't really have that with any other sports. Hey, it's Jackson from Ragsdale High School. I just wanted to say I never thought I would actually enjoy soccer until I came and saw my friend Tanner play. It's been a good night. It's been a fun time. Have a good night. Hey, I'm William, and my church, Emmanuel Baptist, is putting on a play called The Reckoning. Let's go see what it's all about. No, wait, I'll listen, I promise. Wait, 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 I'll listen. Wait, 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 wait. It's an evangelistic walkthrough about everybody being sure of where they'll spend eternity. Wow. It goes through the last 59 minutes of anybody's life and we go through their life with them watching from the outside and then we watch them die, go to judgment to make a decision. And I guess the biggest question at the end is just to say, if you saw yourself in that place, where would you be? Just like people get insurance, 
I hope that they have the assurance after walking through Judgment House of what their destiny is. Bring me back up! I love people. Young people especially. Church is so structured to them. And uh, Judgment House is a way to get young people in and they don't feel the stigma of church. This isn't right. I shouldn't be here. Really? Really. You shouldn't be here? No. And tell me why is that? The reason I wanted to join the play because I know it can be a real life situation. I just kind of wanted to be like an example for other people to, I guess, join or at least do better. I mean, of course I sin. Everybody sin. I mean, ain't that why Jesus died on the cross for There you go again. Bringing everyone else into this. Mm -hmm. The reason why I joined is because I had a really great experience doing it last year. Thought I'd try it again. Take her away! It takes everybody to be on one page. Everybody has to know what's going on, when it's happening, and how they want it to be done. To actually be in the realization that this gonna happen. I'm very dramatic, so I like to do it anyway. So it's like secondhand, you know, nature. Well, uh, it's, it's very fun, especially my part. Are you telling me my father can go to heaven and not me? Are you serious? Maybe you got the names mixed up or something, but really, do you really know what kind of man he is? Uh, uh, there is no October charge for people to come and be Judgment House. It is an outreach. Uh, and we would love uh, to see it starts everybody October the tell your friends the 31st. Everybody. Uh, and we would love to see everybody tell your friends everybody. My heart's if you want more information or want to reserve a spot for a group, call Emmanuel Baptist at 475-1018. This is William in Thomasville. Thank you so much for watching MCHP Rocks. We want you and your students to be part of the show. Just give me a call or email 819-4111 or mcsorlj at gcsnc.com. If you're not familiar with middle college programs, they truly are an awesome opportunity for students. The old saying is nothing in life is free, but here at the middle college, students can take college classes, free tuition, and free books. Thanks again for watching MCHP Rocks, and we'll see you next time.